Hello everyone, my name is CZR. You might have seen videos of me speedrunning Super Mario 64 on the drums and piano. Today I'll be showing you step-by-step -step instructions for setting up a MIDI instrument as a controller to play games like Super Mario 64, Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, and more. This setup will work pretty much with any MIDI instrument and play PC games, as well as games on the Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. I will also cover more advanced trigger options like toggles, delays, and dynamic presses later in the video. So make use of the chapters to jump to specific sections of the tutorial. Alright, let's get started. Head on over to boom.com slash product slash MIDI translator. We will be using Boom MIDI Translator Pro for this setup. This is the best way to set up instruments to play games, and it is the software I use to do my speed runs on drum set and piano. In fact, I reached out to Boom and showed them my work, and they liked my speed run so much they agreed to sponsor this tutorial video. If you decide to purchase the full version of Boom MIDI Translator Pro, use code CZRDRUMS20 for 20% off your software purchase. Don't worry, you can still use the free version, only you will have a 20 minute limit before you have to restart the program. This software is incredibly powerful for musicians and playing games with instruments is just one of the many ways Boom adds functionality to your equipment. Links to everything will be in the description down below. Download Boom and follow the install instructions. Hit next and choose standard, accept the terms and open up Boom. Now connect your instrument via audio interface or USB to your PC. Head over to the top right and click on show project MIDI port settings. Select your instrument or audio interface under MIDI input and select Boom Virtual Port 1 under MIDI output. Create a MIDI route just by clicking and dragging. Now our instrument is set up so we can start our first translation. Now your instrument will have different types of MIDI signals like no on and off, control change, or polyphonic pressure. We're going to make use of the capture MIDI feature in Boom to identify the type of MIDI signal that our instrument is sending out. Now hitting Tom 2 will give you a note on and note off in channel 10, note 45. We will be assigning the note on to the press of a key and note off to the release. To assign the translation to the signal, simply click on note on inside the capture MIDI window. Now that you have the channel and the note, hit any velocity because we want this to be triggered no matter how hard the drum is hit. Now for the output, select keystroke down and we're going to be using W. Now that we have set up the press, let's set up the release. Duplicate the translation and choose the note off line under the capture MIDI section. Set to any velocity and switch the keystroke to up. You can check the log window to see what the translations are doing. And as you can see here, every time we hit the drum, W is pressed and immediately released. Now, if we go over to an emulator and assign W to analog stick up, you can see that every time we hit the drum, analog forward is triggered and Mario moves forward. If we roll on the drum, forward is held for longer periods of time. And it's as simple as that. Now, symbols work a little bit different and they send control change or polyphonic pressure signals. The setup looks identical to note on and off. Let me show you. Now let's start a new translation. Here we're going to be setting up the hi-hats, which send a control change MIDI signal. Hit capture MIDI to identify the signals. And we want to tie the press for when the hi-hats are completely closed and the release for when the hi-hats are completely open. So select the control change with the lowest value, zero, which is when the hi-hats are completely open. We're gonna tie this keystroke to G up, or G will be released when the hi-hats are completely open. Now duplicate it and assign the second pair translation to when the hi-hats are completely closed. Capture MIDI and select the highest value, which is 90. Now set the outgoing keystroke to down G. Now, as you can see in the bottom left, in the log window, every time we close the hi-hats, the output is key down G, and every time we release the hi-hats, it outputs key up G. On my emulator settings, I have G triggering Z. So every time we close our hi-hats, Mario crouches. Now, the last type of signal you might come across is polyphonic key pressure. 
This is triggered when pinching cymbals. On my drum set, which is the TD17KVX, it works on the hi-hats, crashes, and ride. Use the capture MIDI window and select the polyphonic key pressure with the highest value, 127. We're going to tie the signal to T down. Duplicate and assign the polyphonic key pressure to the lowest value, which is zero. You can use any of the three notes that the right symbol sends. This means that whenever we let go of the right symbol, we're going to be releasing T. T on the emulator is tied to jump. Just a few translations in, and we can already do a lot with Mario. Now with just a few more translations, and we have full control of Mario's movement. Set up the translations in a way that makes sense to you. For me, I use the four drums to control Mario's up, right, left, and down movement. It's what makes sense to me. So get creative and see what works best for you. Now let's talk about some more advanced options. Here I'm going to set up a toggle. I turned off the first two translations tied to Tom2 and duplicated them. We're going to make use of the rules section. Copy and paste this to set up the first half of the toggle. What's happening here is that the variable ZZ will equal one on the first hit. So the button will be pressed. But on the following hit, it will not equal one. So then the value of ZZ will reset to zero and the action will be skipped. That means that W will be triggered every other time. This might seem a little bit complicated, but it will make more sense in a second. Now let's move over to the toggle off translation. Here under the rule section, copy and paste this. Now in practice, when we hit the tom once, W will be pressed and Mario will move forward. And he will not stop moving until we hit the tom again. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a delayed translation. This is helpful for when you want to press buttons for a little bit longer. For example, in Super Mario 64, if you press the A button for a longer time, Mario jumps higher. So we're going to set up a note on, note off translation for the bass drum, similarly to our first translations. And for the bass drum off translation, we're going to add a 400 millisecond delay. This makes it to where the jump button is held for 400 milliseconds, making Mario's jump higher. You can also make translations velocity dependent. Under the velocity section, make sure you choose set variable to velocity. Choose any variable. We'll be using OO. Set up the note on and note off translation and bind it to the key T. We will be making use of the rule section again. Let's add a condition that if OO is lower than 40, then it's going to exit rules and skip the outgoing action. Meaning that if we don't hit the bass drum hard enough, this translation will not be executed. Now we can take it a step further and add translations that will be triggered if the velocity is under 40. Meaning that depending how hard you hit the bass drum, the key that is triggered will change. In this case, I will set it up so that when the velocity is under 40, the B button will be pressed, which is tied to the A key. Meaning if I hit the bass drum soft, Mario will punch. If I hit the bass drum hard, Mario will jump. Now for setting up a piano, it's very similar to a drum set. Head over to Project MIDI Settings and select the piano under MIDI Input and create a MIDI route by clicking and dragging. Now let's set up a press translation or note on translation from the piano. We're going to use the capture MIDI section to identify what channel and one note. Choose any velocity and tie the outgoing action to keystroke W. Now let's duplicate to create a release translation. Use the capture MIDI to choose the note off from channel and set to W up or W release. 
Now this MIDI keyboard that I have also has drum pads. So let me show you how to set one of those up. As you can see, it also has a note on, note off trigger. Now make use of the capture MIDI window to identify the type of signal. Now set a translation for the note off signal. This is what's going to release the key A. Now, as you can see, every time we press the drum pad, B is triggered. And that concludes the translations. As you can see, it's fairly simple to set up buttons. And the rules section really gives you complete control over how you want the translations to behave. This is what makes the software very powerful. If you add a few more translations, you will be able to play any PC game that makes use of a mouse and keyboard with your instrument. Now there's one more thing I need to cover. If you want to play games on the Switch, PS4, or Xbox One, then there's one more step you need to take. We need a way to convert the keystrokes into something the consoles can read. You can do that by purchasing one of these console tuner Titan ones. They're found on Amazon for about 65 bucks. Once you have the Titan one, insert it into any USB connection your console has and head over to the console tuner website. Here you can download the software GTuner Pro, which is what we will use to turn the keystrokes into something the consoles can recognize. Follow the download and install instructions and open up GTuner Pro. Once open, select the Plugins tab, Plugin Manager, and download the latest version of Max AMDI. Now open up Max AMDI and select any of the buttons to assign a keystroke to it. Again, what keys and signals you want to assign is your preference. You can also use the device monitor to monitor the inputs and outputs that the software is executing. And that concludes the tutorial video. Thank you so much, Bone, for sponsoring the tutorial. You guys are awesome and I love your software. Remember to use CZR Drums 20 for 20% off your order. If you do set up your instrument, show me what kind of crazy setup you have. You can tag me on Twitter at CZR underscore drums, or you can join my Discord and share it there. If you have any questions, reach me on either place. Have fun, beat games, and get those records. All right, that's it. Peace.